Hey, what's up guys? Steve here, and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO on Something New Saturday. So today we have, as promised in the last episode, we are going to create our first baggage handling system. Um, we have already unlocked a couple of bits and pieces which I've been doing prior to this episode just so it saved a bit of time and allowed us to set something up. So also what I have done, as you can see from our terminal, is I've extended our terminal out just a little bit. I uh, needed to do that so that I could create something, so that'll come uh, clear in a second. I've also updated some of our uh, service roads to tarmac as well, um, so that will, uh, again, become clear in a minute. We've also started the process of upgrading the medium aircraft permit, so uh, that unlocks everything that we need in order to uh, get uh, bigger aircraft, uh, such as bigger stands, um, and also hopefully a larger runway, which we probably get to in the next episode so as mentioned today yes we have got um, the uh, baggage handling element of this coming to it so that will include obviously all the conveyor belts check-in areas um, collection areas so yeah we'll have all of that fun stuff to create today so let's um let's start on so first thing we have to do is create an area for all of our baggage stuff to go so uh, traditionally I think probably the easiest thing to do with this is to put it into the basement so we have the ability to dig down somewhat, so let's create our downstairs terminal area um, and terminal foundation. So I'm going to use all of the space we have available at the bottom. We might not need it, but it at least give us the space to uh, create what we want. So we'll also need to put in some stairs, which we can't really have clash with anything. So let's um, rotate it around somewhat that way, I think. Um, and let's go down cannot be placed on a wall okay good well done so why is there a wall there so let's put that there down there you go cool so hopefully that should be built and then our guys should be able to do it so um let's uh, make sure we have our construction workers on site so yeah we have all 109 uh, construction workers deployed so hopefully yep there they go so let's speed things up just a little bit otherwise this can take forever all right so while they're doing that we say got to just think about how we're going to do this so each one of our um checking desks has a uh, conveyor belt which will put your luggage on and it will then send it down so at the back here we're going to have some uh, conveyors so we have uh, the ability to send escalator down so uh, they'll each send them down into the basement here and from there they will then go on the various different uh, i guess sort of like um, conveyor belts through to the check-in. We will eventually have to start putting in some security measures but uh, at the moment we don't have them so we, we won't necessarily be able to do them just yet. I think we just have on the rightly the basic uh, bay and zones so yeah so we'll have to uh, increase our security potentially to get uh, additional bits and pieces um, to scan baggage and, and, and whatnot. So cool. guys are starting to create our downstairs. I don't think we need this wall here, so I could probably delete this wall. But let me do it. Yeah, well, good, cool. So let's get rid of that, because that's going to break up the two areas. Um, and then what we'll do on the top here, because we need to know... Uh, we have, a, have to have a way here. So the reason I've extended this out is that we're going to put in a um, road tunnel, so a service road tunnel that goes down. And what we'll do is we'll put it here so it's easiest to tag it on the end here so that they have access to it for baggage and then what we can potentially do at a later date is have another one sort of up around here uh, when we start to extend our terminal that gives the ability to, um, to set that up so let's put a tarmac service road in there then that will give people access to it so then we can have all of the baggage carts and everything sort of going up and down that way and then utilizing our service roads to get them to the planes so while that's building, let's have a look downstairs and see how we're getting on. Yeah, so perfect, loads of space. So we are starting to run a bit short of money, but hopefully we should be okay. We shouldn't run out of money anytime soon. Uh, if we do in these episodes, then we'll just fast forward things a little bit. All right, let's get rid of a wall because I can see already a problem for a wall being in the way. So let's get rid of that wall. Go. All right, we obviously need to put in some service roads and stuff down here, but we need to sort of, sort of organise how we're going because we also do need to then have um, the ability to send the baggage up. So I think what we'll do here is look at our 
um, sort of baggage collection zone, so domestic baggage claim. So we'll put it in here. We don't need to necessarily have it too big um, because I think at the moment we'll only have sort of one conveyor. So let's put it in there. And then all we needed that really is a conveyor belt and the ability to put stuff onto it. So let's set this up. Um, so we'll have, as you see with every conveyor belt system ever, just a single sort of round um, that will just spin the baggage <laughs> round and round so someone can no doubt fall off it. Um, so let's do that there. And then all we need is a bag uh, escalator up. Must be placed beneath. So we'll put that. Oh, look. So put that there, and hopefully that should yeah should come out there. So that's nice and easy. Let's give this a different colour because we want to make sure that people know that this is the baggage area, and as it's kind of like a goldy colour, put that there, and then we'll put a few benches around it so people have got somewhere to sit and wait. Let's do a small bench because we don't need to necessarily put massive benches around. Let's do one there, one there, one there, one there, and. There. On there. there we go, perfect. So we've got some place for some plants and stuff to go as well. That should be good. Alright, so they're starting to build the downstairs. That's nice and easy. Let's quickly schedule a few more flights. So we're still getting busy. We've got um, quite busy sort of setups for each day uh, within each of the, uh, the, the sort of the terminals we've got. Not terminals, sorry, stands that we've got. So this will keep it nice and uh, organized. Yeah, there we go. Once we start getting a bit more, um, we'll potentially look at uh, upgrading, uh, sorry, not upgrading, sorry, um, signing another contract for another airline once we start getting a few more um, stands and the ability to get a few more flights because obviously we are also limited by the uh, air traffic controllers uh, and the, air, the fact that we've got a small one will only allow, I think about 25 flights a day, uh, if I recall rightly. So uh, yeah, that will all take some time to get uh, sorted out. And we're starting to, that's getting built, that's fine. We've got a lot of people coming and going. That's broken, do we have, no we don't. So let's hire ourselves a service technician. Hire ourselves a service technician, there we go. So. After lots of criticism, I am going to stop doing the hire the cheapest employee episode if I can get away with it uh, and realise that sometimes hiring someone with a bit of skills and uh, a worthwhile wage uh, does mean that potentially they'll do a better job, but also that it will do us a better job here. So let's quickly put in, as this is not oh, a bit of road there, and hopefully if we go down, yeah, perfect, everything's starting to get built. So. What we need down here is our conveyor, no, not conveyor belt system, sorry, our baggage handling system, so our baggage bay. Now we've got to remember what goes where because as you can see, the conveyor belt system does have a bit of a weird quirk with the way that it sets this all out. So got to remember that we've got to be able to get the baggage on and off in a manner that is suitable for this. So let's uh, so we need to be able to, the problem is we're going to have to cross it at some point. And that's not always ideal because we're going to end up with our baggage going in all kinds of different directions and when it goes off, it's not ideal. So let's do, so we want, because we want to be able to do the baggage off and on correctly, but on is going to have to be here and then off is going to have to go like all the way around. And I don't really want that if I can get away with it. It's a shame you can't select which side is which because it's short of having to go up, down, round and over and stuff. It's it's, it's a bit of a pain in the bum. Um, so we've got an up there, so we're going to have to put an up somewhere here. But I think if it probably goes there, you should be able to send the baggage back round the back of that. It's going to be a long old conveyor belt, but that'll be fine there. And we're putting some service roads. Service roads, got to do asphalt obviously because it's underground. Right, and then across there, across and down there, and then across there. And that should hopefully give us enough. Now, what we need to then do, let's go up. Let's put in our baggage down, escalator down. So these can go here. We don't need any extra um, kind of conveyor belts because it will just send it straight there. And if we go down, there we go. So that's our baggage down. So. What we'll have to do, so that's going to be an up. So let's connect 
that. Just go down there. Down and then up. And then what we'll do is this one, because this is the return line, we're gonna have to go all the way down here. Uh, there. And yeah, probably what we'll have to do is just go up here, up there, up there, up there, make sure that you're all going in the right direction. The one thing this will do is will give us plenty of room for when we want to set up our um, security elements because we've got all this space here to send them through. Um, cool, so that's everything. So let's turn baggage bay on. So that should give enough room there for that. I don't know if we need all of this space here, but anyway, it's there if we need it. We go up, that's fine. So we need to buy some vehicles. So now we've got a few extra. So you've got our baggage trucks. Um, so we've got large, large, or small. So that's 20 minutes. So that's fine. That's got a top speed of 30 kilometers an hour, 50. And a very high durability, and that's very low. So let's go for a... Uh, let's order two of those that should be fine and then well what is our janitors doing Come on, clean this click this stuff up where's the clean button you look at my name quest maintenance near enough yeah there we go there you go perfect so that's set up we go down we've got all of those that we've got some baggage handlers here so that's perfect I think what we'll probably do employ a few more baggage handlers. I know that we need a few. Uh, they're ramp agents, aren't they? If I remember rightly, yeah. So let's hire you, you, and you. Give you, and then we'll get you an upgrade on money. Cool. So that should give us enough to do it. So how many? So two per side. Let's go three per side. So we've got enough people to do it. And then we'll just wait for everything to get delivered. Flights to schedule. Let's do those quickly while we're waiting. A lot of flights to schedule. Got 20 flights to schedule. Alright, so let's put you there. Perfect. And that one there. So, yeah, guys, so really appreciate those who have watched uh, all of our Something New Saturdays on air. Port CEO. Uh, really enjoyed doing this so far and I think you guys have as well. So thank you for those that have uh, have stuck by. Uh, despite the rocky start, I think we're uh, we're getting on alright. So we go and yeah, for everybody else who enjoys the usual content, uh, as I say, we'll be back to normal, normal after our double um, airport CEO episode uh, this week with uh, with with uh, another bus in video. So, all right. So that's open um, baggage is open. Cool. There we go. So we've got people sat down waiting for baggage. Let's go down. That's open. Those are good. All right. So in theory, we should be able to accept baggage. There we go. Baggage handling. There we go. I'm well, proactive cleaning, but we, what do we need for those? Complete proactive maintenance. Okay, cool. So baggage is now set up. So that should hopefully allow us to receive baggage. And what are you missing? Baggage bay. Okay, so it got to connect you to the baggage bay. Connect baggage bay. So good. Connect you to the baggage bay there. Connect you to the baggage bay there. And finally connect you to the baggage bay as well. Perfect, so everyone's got baggage bays. These need connecting to it. Yep, connect to the baggage bay. Oh, that one. Go. Go. And final one. Perfect, so. Checking this can't, there we go, perfect. So everything's all connected up. We should be good to go with our first lot of baggage. So we'll wait and see when the next flights come in to see uh, if they're suggesting uh, that that will work, um, let's. Oh, so our medium aircraft permit has almost finished. So uh, I think what we'll do when that does come in, we will start considering uh, a medium airport uh, upgrade. So we'll start potentially maybe buy the land next to us, which is a lot of money. But anyway, <laughs> that's um, that's there, and then we'll potentially add in a couple of uh, medium bays here if we can. 
um, and start getting some big heavy aircraft in um, just so we can get some additional uh, money coming in so everything down here seems to be working fine yeah all right just gotta wait for our first lot of planes to come in and hopefully we'll have some baggage services uh, set up um, cool we've got some general aviation coming in let's see what else we've got oh so medium aircraft is almost done got plenty of extra people cars so fuel trucks so we need probably another avgas because that's about the same right let's get rid of some contractors if we can don't think we need quite so many there and it's just hemorrhaging our money in the bottom corner here right, perfect so have our yep yeah, so our little baggage trucks have arrived um they are fine we've got plenty of people coming in like these people are leaving we got here all right cool so we've got now our medium f um so medium runway um, and our medium jetways so one great thing obviously you can do with these is, is, is have the multi-floor side of things so um, I think for the moment we'll just utilize the single floor but potentially going forwards once we uh, start getting some orbits we'll add an upper um, area to these and we'll have a, a like a two-story uh, kind of um, area where we can dock some of the bigger planes from the top and uh, maybe yeah convert the middle bit into uh, into flooring so uh, for shops and stuff like that oh there we go look so first lot of baggage is coming through so I know we need to upgrade the security on this so let's have a quick look and see if we can upgrade our baggage security so we need uh, baggage security tier one so let's do that one because yeah that's important we don't want to get any um, anything on planes that really shouldn't be there no you can get marked points uh, for, uh, for for putting stuff on planes that shouldn't have been perfect so everything's running away we should be fine I think do this this is fine let's just repair some of these we don't want them breaking fine so we also need to consider our runway that's fine these need repairing what else have we got there yeah they're pretty broken fine good good all right so everything's repaired nice and simple these are all good obviously we can't do night flights yet so that's not a problem we should have Let's just check we've got enough people for this uh, body tasks ramp agents so we're running loose uh, running a bit low on ramp agents so let's go we're also running very low on janitors so let's get another janitor and another ramp agent so well eight pounds an hour and you're fully fully trained you'll you'll do you're near enough oh, let's hire you and then yeah, uh, sorry, ramp agents. Uh, 22. I'm overqualified, but I suppose hit you and we'll, we'll train you up a little bit and yourself. There we go, cool. So that should be good. Have we got our first baggages going out? Yeah, they're waiting for the baggage to be loaded. So hopefully, somewhere down here. Oh, oh. Okay, so our baggage trucks are out. There we go. Going. Why do you keep going back in? But a service vehicle can't reach their destination. Why can they not reach their destination? Why is this not working? That's, that's there, maybe? Right, let's try just building a service road quickly. I wonder if it's because they can't. F no, they should be able to find that. Why can they not find their destination? So that's all service road, isn't it? It's weird. Right, so okay. Very strange. Maybe that wasn't service road. But that's work now. Alright, maybe it was normal road. I'll have to look back at that and see if we did it wrong. Um, 
and set it up as normal road instead of service so there we go so yeah unfortunately they're running late but um, let's just delay them because we have a two hour window so we have two hours that we can fix it all right perfect so going around there good you should be dropping your bags off okay we're now desperately sort of rampagents so let's hire some more hey uh, hired you're hired oh, hire there you go. I don't want to see your life story okay perfect Right, so first lot of baggage um, have been set up. So I think the next job essentially will be to try some of these larger stands. So let's see how big these large stands are. Medium stands, should I say? Okay, so they're not a lot. They're slightly bigger. So I think probably what we'll have to do is we'll move a taxiway over. So let's put that one there. We only need one for the minute. Yep, yeah, that'll do. All right, so. That'll get built. We need a taxiway. Actually, I think we need to worry about how big the airport, uh, sorry, the runway is. Yeah, so we'll need. All right, so let's quickly buy this land next to us. Yeah, perfect. And let's stick in our medium runway. So we have to be able to. We'll be able to get on and off it. That will probably do. I think. All right, we need an entry and exit way. That'll do. Entry, exit, okay, and then a taxiway. Up there. Oh, and then build that along there as well. That'll give us a chance to future expand that. And let's go. This is easier. Let's extend this to this as well. Okay, perfect. So they can now gain access to both of them. Let's make sure we've got enough staff on site to do it. Let's deploy all of our contractors because we need it. And then let's think about extending our terminal building. So let's go. I think we only need to do this just for a second. We need to get one more bit in. Good. Right, so we need to put a large door there. Perfect. Right, and then I think, just to beautify things a little bit, let's put some large windows in between our gates. We can see the aircraft that they're getting on. It's always nice to see the aircraft you're getting on. All right, so that should sit there. Right, perfect. Perfect. All right, so let's let them build that. And oh, a bag containing dangerous content has been loaded. Oh no! All right, so my security's uh, getting there. So we are 62% on baggage security. So we really need to upgrade that um, as quick as we can because uh, yeah, it's um, it's we're loading on dangerous materials which we shouldn't have. Um, sorry, FAA or whoever is governing our aircraft. Um, it's not. <laughs> yeah, not as supposed to. All right, so oh, it's now winter. We're now snowy. All right, so let's add uh, extended taxi path from here down there and there, and then that will at least connect up with that one. And then should we need it, I can't imagine we're going to need to do it, but we will extend that one up a little bit. I think just to get ability for other aircraft to use this one as well and then we can have different things coming out of different different airports I guess onto different uh, sorry uh, different runways onto the, the differences so that's fine let's speed things up a little bit because otherwise it's gonna take a while right, we need to delete this wall now that we've got that up wall that one there there we go of that wall we need to make all of this secure area yeah good let's wait for the wall to be built or demolished shall we say then we'll make that secure as well yeah perfect right, put some more tiles back in there because that's just in my OCD there we go all right so we need to add a check-in desk boarding desk sorry Okay, so we can do a double one. So let's just make this our first of our double desks. So it can go there. And then Q will come there. And then let's get some 
benches in. One, perfect. All right, when that gets built, we can then link that to the baggage bay. We'll link it to a desk once the desk is built. But they're beavering away. There you go, cool, runway's open. Taxiway should be able to link up now with that, yeah. So if an aircraft wants to use either runway, we can set that up. So that could be maybe small and um, general aviation. And then, uh, yeah, we can have this one set up for medium and that just on its own. So that'd be good. All right, what have we got? Cool, so the security has finished. So let's quickly, well, we don't seem to have a lot here. Let's quickly just pour, uh, no, we'll, we'll put this in separately. So let's go and put in some security. So we've got baggage scanner, baggage destroyer. So let's put in a baggage. Okay, so we can't put that in. So we'll have to put that in. Well, that's really annoying. Can't we put that in there? All right, so we we'll have to disrupt the line somewhat. I don't particularly want to do that if I can get away with it. I guess we're going to have to. So right, let's quickly, let's put it in here and we'll just send everything across one. So one there, and then we want the baggage destroyer. We'll go in there. Let's put a little bit of space between it so we can see what's being destroyed. And then let's build conveyor belts from there to there. Down there, and then down there. I think what we'll do, put that there, that there. And once all that's built, that should, in theory, be able to then connect up, and then everything will go through. So I think everyone's a bit preoccupied at the moment with all of the runway. Okay, so we can link that up to a desk. So I link the desk up to that. Down there, that's perfect. Good. Okay, so they're quickly building that. Not sure. Oh yeah, because it was a bit of OCD kicking in there, so that's fine there. Obviously, we can eventually uh, update all these uh, to larger if needs be. Oh, winter is coming. It's snowing. I don't know if this has any effect on the actual planes, but it's near enough. Taxiway. Let's send that down there. So let's make that as an on, because that's the way they take off. And then that can be an off. Dangerous baggage load on the aircraft. Okay, yeah. Let's read this email. Let's see what they say. Uh, dear Steve Allen, we regret to inform you that Allen International has been fined the full amount of five thousand uh, dollar, sorry, five thousand pounds due to negligent security routines and practices in the airline. Uh, your airport conducts business with has reported the bag contained dangerous goods and loaded it on board and discovered after takeoff, which triggered an emergency landing. Oh no! We recommend that you ensure your airport's conveyor belt system is correctly set up so that you uh, that these issues are avoided in the future. Please note that we'll deduct several points from your air current airport rating, and further bag security issues may invoke more penalties in the future. Anita Bath. Wow, Anita Bath. Okay, yeah, thanks. Great name. Um, all right, well, you'll be glad to know, Anita Bath, that we've already sorted that. And uh, yeah, we now have these. So let's get rid of some conveyor belts. That one, and let's get rid of these conveyor belts because we don't need them. Good, good. So it's going through the scanners. You'll see them go through and hopefully, oh, they get this one. Yeah, two, three, four. Quite a lot of them are really dangerous. <laughs> it's quite a lot of dangerous bags. Okay, interesting. All right, good. Well, the good news is, is that's all being sorted. So these guys are now building the taxiways. So let's do that one. Sorry, my OCD has kicked in. With that, I cannot have that done like that. Really annoying me. All right, we're almost there. We should just be able to there. So. As I'm not sure how big or small said aircraft uh, will be that arrived. Uh, on this one but at least with the medium it does allow us to expand a little bit uh, in terms of size so all right cool so we are almost there with the taxiway go on cut more and then we should be able to just link it up and accept our first 
planes there we go done so that can be an off and that one can be an on All right so let's open ourselves up for uh, oh, do we not set up medium aircraft obviously not obviously it does it itself so let's open that up so I've got medium commercial that's good and we're there we're ready to go so these are getting built we've got our first area there oh, Mr. Tile that one and mum stay in the right bloody one there we go all right perfect so that's all done how's our R&D getting on have we got anything done so we've done the baggage security so let's have a look see what we've got left belt loader remote stand service night flights extended commercial license large aircraft permit large runway large aircraft stands okay so we won't do large yet um, high speed conveyors tilt trace baggage security level 2 uh, can't do shops why it requires handling a strategy director okay um, so I think probably what we will do next uh, is do the um, next uh, so unlock the night flights because that's probably good to have additional money coming in if it's got um, uh, flights coming all the all round so that's done so we've got that set up all right if we've got any extra flights that we can no we haven't got any extra okay so that's coming in we've still got that let's have a look and see how we're getting on with regards to our operations so we are a bit short of jet fuel so let's quickly order another jet fuel vehicle on jet fuel order that one so we also need to order a stair truck and a pushback so that we can um, get out there and they should arrive soon okay perfect so we're almost built getting there okay cool so can we get our first no these are just smaller aircrafts now yeah we need to try and get our medium sized aircrafts up we really desperately need to try and ah oh, there we go ah, that's small I was hoping that was a larger aircraft but we need to try and get our first one but might have to do that in the next episode because we are running short of time uh, for today's so we've set up oh hang on no we're all done on that one for some reason it just kept do it kept coming up there it's really annoying um so yeah so we've set up today our baggage handling uh, and our baggage destroying if necessary um uh, area we've got some baggage loaders uh we've set up our medium aircraft stand um which will allow us to upgrade we've got a larger uh, runway and taxiway so that's good so we can set up all of our uh, different stands all the way along we've got plenty of space to upgrade because we've now got uh, some additional land here so we've got loads of room for our um, uh, increasing of our terminal sizes uh, we have unlocked the ability to go up so we can add additional floors to it and yeah we're currently upgrading and unlocking the night flight element so uh, that's it's all pretty good I'm just hoping we can get some medium sized aircraft I don't know if there's anything we need to do in order to kind of unlock it. It seems to be everything's open. Everything's ready to go. We just need to find a flight, I guess, to um, try and do it. But that's not happening anytime soon. Right, let's see what else we've got. So, we upgrades. We haven't got any shops or anything yet. So, I think probably what we'll do, let's try and see who we can add so strategy because i increases our do for this case so i think probably what we'll do let's apply and see if we can get a strategy director strategy director perfect so we've got one two so same price similar so let's hire you and that should get us the ability to unlock um shops which we'll probably try and do in the next one so let's have a look at our R&D project so let's click a new one so extended commercial licenses so that's no we don't need that I don't need that belt loader would come in handy we can also franchise shops so I think well, I think because we can manually load let's go franchise shops let's try and upgrade a shop and what we'll do is we'll uh, do that for the next uh, episode we'll start putting some shops in 
and because uh, we've got this empty space here we could potentially put a shop in here um, as well as upgrade these to a bit more stand capacity I uh, do also need to try and find out how we um, I don't want to pause that how we get our um, slightly larger air traffic controller because we are obviously running up to I think if I remember rightly let's have a look uh, yeah we've got 25 that we could do a day um, but nothing at the moment nothing else oh no another small one all that day full that day all right so we've got some space this day uh, yeah so we are uh, running a little bit short on um, space for come on go there there we go uh, bit space short of space for more flights because we're running out of gates so let's um yeah i think that's about us for today um should give us enough time uh next episode to start oh, hang on, got green dot let's no that's one of those false ones again so yeah so i think that'll probably be a good point to stop for today uh next episode we will upgrade some shops hopefully start to receive our next lot of uh medium uh, planes coming in so we should at least hopefully be able to get one of them um, and then, yeah see what else we can we can sort of do in the next episode so uh, yeah thanks guys for watching I hope you've enjoyed the series of airport CEO uh, so far if you have please do click a like button um, if you haven't hit the dislike button no please don't hit the dislike button that's horrible um, but no as I say if you've enjoyed it you say please like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please feel free to subscribe and um, there's more fun stuff coming up with regards to airport CEO and bus sim and everything else that we have as a regular thing on the channel um, if you do subscribe please click the notification bell so you can be updated with when new episodes come out um, and yeah as always guys if there's any comments questions thoughts or the uh, suggestions then please do put those in the comments section down below uh, we will endeavor to respond to any comment that you put in there um, going forward uh, but yeah as I say thanks for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you all again soon take care bye